This incredible photograph that really was what Ansel Adams often described as one of his Mona Lisa's, one of his most popular images, takes in the entire expanse of the Yosemite Valley. This is the area that Adams actually lived in. This is the view from Inspiration Point. And what you see in it is on the right, beautiful Bridal Veil Falls, which here looks like a almost a stream of mercury. It is silvery and so beautiful. And then on the left, you see the huge granite face of El Capitan. On this particular day, for Adams, all the planets aligned. He saw that all the conditions were right. It had rained earlier in the day and then turned to snow, and suddenly the skies were brightening. And he realized if he could get to Inspiration Point, where this was made from, he could capture this image that had really evaded him for all these years. One of the things I find fascinating about this image called Rain Yosemite Valley, which was made three years after Clearing Winter Storm, is how different it feels for a number of reasons. Obviously, in this case, it's a foggy, rainy day. But the other thing that's fascinating about it is the difference between, in Clearing Winter Storm, the ways that Adams is clearly reveling in the ability of his 8x10 camera to capture almost infinite space. In this case, uh, he's turned that on its head, in a sense, by focusing on this one very modest uh, triangular shape of the pine tree in the foreground that has every single one of its needles uh, with a tiny droplet of rain on it. That is in spectacular detail and everything else behind falls away in a very soft and foggy way. It's an exciting view of the same subject, but treated in a very different way.